Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Yeah, you are still in Nana Sada's kitchen. For those who are new in this channel, please like and subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get the latest content in this channel. And for all my returning subscribers, a big thank you to you guys for coming back to watch my videos. In our recipe for today, we are cooking a Norwegian traditional dish called Poreko lamb and cabbage. So we are cooking a lamb and cabbage stew this day. It's a beautiful day outside there. Yeah, and it is so interesting to know that the whole dish is cooked with five ingredients. I, I have them right here. I have my lamb. I have about three kilograms of lamb and I have my cabbage you can see it looking fresh yeah and the other ingredients that we are going to use as I said before they are black pepper seeds we have salt and we are going to use some water to cook this super delicious dish don't go away follow me let's cook together thank you hi guys we are to begin with our cooking process so our lamb has been washed and we have also peeled our cabbage we took out the outer skin because we want to have clean and fresh cabbage to cook so i'm going to demonstrate the way to slice our cabbage because we want our cabbage the leaves to be pulled together so we are not going to remove the the stem of the cabbage just follow me and see how we are to cut our cabbage. Yes, so this is the way to slice our cabbage. If you guys can see, we maintain the stalk because the stalk or the stem will hold the leaf together that they don't get scattered. It's a long cooking process, so we are going to cook for about two and a half hours. So to keep our cabbage in place or intact, the stem must be maintained. So like this part, I have to cut it again into two and it holds. So the sizes, they are just perfect for our cooking we are done with our cabbage slicing or cutting so this is how it looks like the leaves are being held on the stems so I'm going to show you guys a technique on how to place these things inside the pot so we are going to place our meat under the pot first. We take the meat that have bones and put place them under the pot. And also meats that have some fat, we also turn and place them under the pot. So after each layer of the meat, we also put some cabbage on top. Just like what I'm doing. Sprinkle some salt.
the same process continue until we finish with our cabbage here is our water with lamb stock so we throw our water inside our pot guys we have transferred our pot to the, where we have to cook our food we already have enough of water inside one liter of water so after 30 minutes we are going to check our pot to see if our water is enough and bring the heat to a medium heat our food our lamb in cabbage is going to be cooked for two and a half hours until the meat becomes real tender soft and the cabbage will also become golden brown in color it's going to be interesting stay tuned let's cook together yes our lamb in cabbage has been cooking for 30 minutes plus so we take a look to see how it is cooking wow it is cooking perfectly yeah the water is enough so we are going to reduce the heat and cook again for the next two hours before we check our pot so our cabbage will produce more water and the lamb also will produce its own water the whole thing is going to be yummy okay we we'll see you again after two hours yes our lamb in cabbage has been cooking for one hour 30 minutes so we just check again to see how it goes or how it is looking if we need to add some water we add it's a long cooking so let's take a look again wow our cabbage is turning into golden brown as you guys can see it's looking perfect cooking real good i think our water is like getting smaller we can add about a cup of water again into it so we add more water Hey guys, if you people can take a closer look, you will see how the meat is producing some oil. It is shining up there. Wow, it's cooking good. Yeah, we'll cover our pot again and we cook for the next one hour. And our food will be ready. Cooking good. See, much oil is coming on top of the pot. It's two hours plus since we started cooking our lamb in cabbage. So let's see how it looks like after two hours. Yeah, it's our lamb in cabbage looking good and attractive. Our cabbage is well cooked, golden brown, as I said and as we guys can see the oil is floated on top of the sauce it's going to taste good and delicious so let's go and give a try hi guys we've come to the end of our today's cooking our lamb in cabbage stew is ready we have served our lamb in cabbage stew with some potatoes but at the same time you can choose to eat with your lamb in cabbage stew with something else that you think is good yeah lamb in cabbage stew is eaten in Norway in autumn period like this so I'm going to give it a try to see how our food tastes like
yeah it tastes really good it's a must to try it's really delicious once more thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe share and don't forget to hit the notification bell see you again bye